All right, everybody, I just kind of wanted to give my first impressions on RPG Maker Unite. Uh, just out of nowhere, it was just available. I had uh, just kind of given up on, you know, it being out any time, even this year. And then there it was. So I got it and uh, I started playing with it. And first of all, I want to say is that you are more than likely, if, even if you've used RPG Maker for a long time and Unity at the same time, there's going to be some frustration right away because there's a few things as somebody that, you know, has done both RPG Maker and Unity quite a bit. There were some pretty unintuitive things. In fact, I got a list of things that um, that just don't make sense to me. Just they're kind of a little bit wonky in this. Um, first thing is that menu icons. Um, so when you go up here, you should be able to hover over these and it should tell you what each of these things does. And I will eventually kind of go through and figure out what they are. This one's obviously play, but even then, right now, that's grayed out. But if I go up here, I can get in here. And this is, this is what I've made so far. I was able to throw the parallax mapping, which I'll talk about here in just a second. Uh, not much, not much at all, but uh, just a couple hours of playing around with it. I was able to get this done at least. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do lighting in this yet, but okay. So I can get into there. Um, one of the things I noticed was that when we get in there, um, I tried to use the mouse to hit the new game on there. It doesn't work. It works within the game, but the title screen um, doesn't work on that. Let's actually look at that. I wonder... Uh... I'm not going to mess with that right now. Uh, maybe I will just here just real quick. See if there's a setting to be able to use the mouse on this. Uh, I didn't th see anything right away. But for some reason, I can't use the mouse uh, to be able to interact with the uh, title screen, which is kind of not very intuitive. Um, let's see. And the other thing, too, is if you use Unity a lot, you're going to want to go to Windows. Um, I don't know. What was it? It's uh, Was it Windows? See, now I can't find it. That's weird. Uh, it was, uh, let's see, RPG Maker. You know, earlier when I was in here, you could go to Windows, and there was an RPG Maker thing in here. And then, oh, there it is right here. Um, and then Mode uh, and RPG Maker plus Unity Editor. At least that gives you the option to hit that play button. Um, but yeah, so I hit this a couple times right here. And it... Um, it just, I don't know what it did. And honestly, it looks like it just closed out the program, um, which was really kind of weird. Uh, okay, well, let's go to something really good, though. Something I really enjoyed about that. And that's the map editor. Uh, this is going to make parallax mapping way, way easier. In fact, I had planned on doing this as a bunch of smaller maps. But now that uh, I've seen this, I think I might just do it as one huge map for like the overworld. Um, and just, um, okay, let, let's, uh, let's back up here real quick. So the parallax is obviously not, it, it's just a parallax, just like it was an RPG maker. Background is what you're going to think about uh, parallax mapping. And this is where I put the image, um, for where the player is going to be able to travel on. And it's just that easy. You literally load the image in there, um, show an editor so you can put your, uh, let's see, you have your collision placement, which one is you can walk on. So I go in there and, and I'm able to put those spots there that the player can walk on and then they can't walk on the others. Um, they also, these trees right here are, let's see here, they are, um, if you go to add tile, you can add something here and they have something called large parts and these are just large parts. Even though this is what's kind of weird. So if we put this one here, um, it appears that when whatever spot you hit on this, um, it is, that's the corner. So bam. So when you put this in here, it's, you were putting it on this spot right here. It's starting from this corner and going down um, from what I understand. So that was kind of a little bit weird, even though let's, yeah. If we do that, it puts it all the way down in the morning. So I would think that it would be from the bottom. And then if you push it like right here, that it would have it from bottom up and it doesn't do that. 
Uh, however, that's easy to work around. I, I'm not too overly worried about that one. That's, that's not too wonky. Uh, the other thing I noticed is it took forever to import this asset. Um, and after you import it, you can start a new project without the sample game. And that's going to save you a lot of time for each time it loads up. Uh, cause it takes, it takes, it took me like 10 minutes. Uh, the thing crashed or I hit it. I, I think actually, I think I accidentally X'd out of it. And for some reason, um, it took 10 minutes for it to, to come back up. Um, I haven't played around with the scene outline yet. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Uh, my main concern was seeing if I could just create a map, which I was able to do. Um, editing, you can add events in there. Uh, which pretty easily, you know, new event, boom, you got a new event there and that's got that one on there. You know, we can, we get rid of, we can do a select image and let's just do a boat. Yeah, you can do it that way. It's pretty easy. Uh, let's look back at my notes. Um, again here real quick. Uh, Oh, the, let's, if you play text at, play test at maximum. So up in the game window, you have an option to play focused or play maximized. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now. Maybe I'll do it right at the end of this uh, video, but it froze every time I try to do that, which sucks because play maximize kind of gives you a real good feel for how the game's going to actually look once you build it. Uh, not being able to do that kind of sucks. Uh, Yes, that's kind of all the notes I've I've really got. Maybe I will try this in a second. We'll we'll put it on play maximize. Watch it'll actually work this time. But um, before I end this video, I just want to say I have a lot of hopes with this. Um, considering that I don't plan on using tile sets, I don't use the RPG Maker default tile sets or characters or anything like that at all. Um, it's not. I don't. I'm cool with it. I I, I think there's. This is going to help me do a lot of the things that I want to do a lot easier than what RPG Maker MB can. Um, the the one thing I I, I got to figure out since it doesn't work with URP as of right now, uh, the lighting might be a little bit funky in this. Um, oh, real quick, let's let's talk to the talk about this. That creating a new character is awesome. Now I didn't do much with this. I just created a character named Her, um, and then I put the select file image in here. Um, and really what it is, it's called field character. And if you go down here, uh, under characters, resource managers and characters, you have your field characters. And this is where you find this character. And then we've got our down, uh, PNG via our, uh, left PNG. That's just going to show that way. We got our right and we've got our up. I don't have a damage honor yet, so that's not really showing that. Um, but I'll kind of show you literally these are these are all it is. It's, there's the up. So that's the up graphics. It's got eight frames. So in here, we've got up eight frames. Uh, animation speed, I still have to figure out. Cause that's not working the way really I want. So I got to figure out the best. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-render these at 30 frames per second. Um, and then I think it'll be a little bit smoother. Uh, cause let's do this as focused again real quick. Oh, see now that time the mouse actually worked on it. Oh, Hey, there's our little boat, but not crazy about the wonkiness of her leg movement so I'll, like i said i'll probably re-render that that as 30 frames per second uh here um but yeah as we go out let's do this real quick let's try to play maximized and see what happens watch it this time is it really gonna work is it really gonna work okay yeah because ah, that's so funny uh let's okay let's try one more thing real quick uh, i'm gonna turn my volume down on this because that's blowing my ears out a little bit uh let's see let's go let's see what happens if i go like that and go maximum let's see if it'll but this is the thing though okay so uh it's not actually playing it at maximum at maximum it should show it um 
as the whole screen and not have this background here. So that's kind of weird. But anyways, that's my first thoughts on this. I'm going to uh, uh, keep playing around with it. And once I get, uh, well, first of all, I'm excited to do the battle stuff. I'm really excited to do that because you can actually have multiple frames uh, in your battle animations. That's going to be kick ass. I've looked so many different, but it's so complicated to do that in MV. Um, you can use uh, uh, WebM uh, basically videos to be able to do it. There's a couple other ways to do multiple frames uh, in in uh, battle animations, but man, it's unintuitive when it comes to that with MV. I am so excited to be able to have as many frames as I want in attack and animations in this. But anyways, that's all I got. Um, let me know if you uh, if you've tried out uh, RPG Maker Unite. Um, let me know if you're planning on getting it. Uh, and I would say this, um, if if you don't want to really experiment, if you just want to be able to come in, watch tutorials and get right into it, wait a little while. Uh, but if you're somebody that's curious and, and going to be stubborn like I am and try to figure this out on your own, uh, it's probably worth getting. All right, everybody have a great day.